Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am running, what, three minutes behind. Forgive me, forgive me. But good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Lashana Janine Hearn. Uh, a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading. And we have actually made it to week five, you all. So you know that first day of a week, we read in Psalms. So today we're reading Psalms 18. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today we're reading Psalms 18. So I always keep up with where I am, write everything down. <laughs> So yes, hello, how was everybody's Thanksgiving? Spending time with family, friends, how did everything go? And remember, every day is a day of giving thanks. So let's not stop it from, from yesterday. Today we're gonna give thanks again, this very early morning, um, 5.30 in the morning. So let's just pray. Heavenly Father, we just glorify you and we thank you, Lord God, for another day, another opportunity, another chance to praise you, to worship you, to glorify you, to acknowledge you, and to lift your name up high, Lord God. Let your glory rise above us, Lord God, and fill us with your presence in this day, Lord Jesus. And we just give thanks. We want to give thanks. We want to give thanks every day, Lord God, to you because you are so good to us and you are so awesome and wonderful in all your ways, even in your judgments and disciplines and corrections and everything that you do for us because we know that all things work together um, good that love you, Lord God, and we just glorify you and we thank you, Lord Jesus. And I just pray and ask that you touch every single soul, every person that is connected to me, attached to me, those that are watching the live feed right now, the ones that will come back and watch the replay, but those that definitely will obey your call and obey your voice and get into the word daily, Lord God. I just pray that you continue to pour your healing hands on everyone and pour your presence in their life in this day, Lord God. And we just glorify you and we thank you. And we pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the spirit of Jesus, Yahweh. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen, amen. Yes. Every day is a day of giving thanks. And I want y'all to know that this is not just helping you, but this is helping me. Um, I have the, this acronym HYHM, helping you helps me. So every day me coming on, reading uh, the words of God with you helps me as well. I am learning a lot and um, it's just amazing. All right. So we are in Psalms 18. So good morning, good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading. And we are in Psalm 18 today. Okay. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills 
moved and were shaken because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode up on a cherub, and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Then the channels of water were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of thy breath of thy nostrils, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt show thyself upright. With the pure thou wilt show thyself pure. And with the froward thou wilt show thyself froward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but wilt bring down high looks. For thou will light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord, or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hind's feet and setteth me up on my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath holden me up and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth. And blessed be my rock, 
and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seeds forevermore. Amen. Amen. So I'm, I'm going to read that this was, this is Psalms 18 and I'm going to read what it says in my Bible. So, uh, this is the chief musician, a Psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, so this is a song, a song David sang unto the Lord God Almighty. And a lot of this we can apply. This is this is perfect timing because of the things that we are going through, the battles that we are going through. And we know that Jesus was our, he made the ultimate sacrifice for us. So we don't have to do any avenging. We don't have to do any uh, anything other than trust in the Lord God and look to him every single day and so daily 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 getting into the word of god and uh, uh, planting those seeds so it will allow the lord god to come in water teach you give you everything that you need to be able to get through this day and so this is a year in the bible a daily bible reading and it is to inspire you and motivate you and encourage you to stay in the word. We, we, we cannot let up when it comes to the words of God. We cannot let up when it comes to staying plugged in to God. We cannot let up whatsoever because the enemy is not letting up. He is not letting up, so we shall not let up. So every day, 5.30 in the morning, we're going to get through this Bible in a year together. We're going to do this together and know that I am praying for every single last one of you. I love you all. And you have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose. And I'll see you 5.30 in the morning.